some really fun treats that you can serve at a party or maybe something that you can add onto your cakes. Well, in this week's video tutorial, I'm showing you how to make these really delicious and fun baked donuts. Now, if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video tutorial, then make sure you subscribe to the Cakes Fun Ninja YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So in order to make our donuts, the first thing we're gonna need is some donut trays. Now I've just got some metal trays here, but you can also get silicone ones. Now the recipe I'm gonna be using is gonna make 12 donuts. So if you were using them to decorate a cake and you didn't want as many, just divide the recipe to give you the amount that you need. Now in terms of size, these are gonna give me around a medium sized donut. So each donut is gonna measure just over three inches across and it's gonna have around an inch circle in the center. Now, before I prepare the ingredients, I wanna prepare the trays. These are non-stick trays, but I'm just adding in a small amount of cake release, just working that round with some kitchen paper. You could also use a spray cake release or even just grease them just to help those donuts come out once they're baked. Once those trays are ready, I'm just gonna pop these to one side whilst I prepare all the ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients that you're gonna need for 12 of these donuts is first of all, I've got 180 grams of plain flour. I've also got 105 grams of caster sugar and one large egg. Now, my large egg weighs around 65 grams. I've also got 115 grams of butter, which I've melted down in the microwave and just left it to cool slightly. Now, this is salted butter. You can also use unsalted. If you are using unsalted butter, you will also need a small pinch of salt. Now, in order to make our donuts rise and to make them nice and soft and fluffy inside, I'm gonna be using two different raisin agents. So I've got one teaspoon of baking powder. I've also got a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, or you might find that it's called baking soda. Now, with baking powder, this starts to work when it starts to heat up. So once we put our donuts in the oven, with bicarbonate of soda, this needs some something acidic to make it work. So I'm also gonna be adding in 100 grams of buttermilk. Now, buttermilk is acidic, so it's gonna make my bicarbonate of soda start to work. I've also got half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of vanilla. So the first thing that we need to do is combine all of our dry ingredients in one bowl and all of our wet ingredients in another bowl. So I'm gonna start by sifting in my plain flour, add into this my caster sugar, the nutmeg, the bicarbonate of soda, and my baking powder. And I'm just gonna give that a stir with my spatula just to make sure they're all mixed through. In another bowl, I'm gonna add in my melted butter, my egg, a teaspoon of my vanilla flavoring, and lastly, the buttermilk and just mix that together. Now I will put a list of all of the ingredients that I've just gone through in the description below the video. So I've brought back in my dry ingredients and I'm just very slowly gonna start adding in the wet ingredients, just mixing those together. And the great thing about this is that you don't need any mixer, you can just do it all by hand. Once that's all mixed together, you should have quite a smooth mixture, which is a little bit on the thick side. Now, you can just use a spoon to pop this mixture into your trays. I'm actually gonna use a piping bag. I'm then gonna snip off an opening, so I've got just over a centimeter, and bring back in my trays. I'm then gonna take my mixture and just pop it around that tin. Now you wanna fill each one so it's around half of the way up the side of the tin. This is gonna allow for space for those donuts to rise. And if any of them are a little bit uneven, I'm just gonna go in with the back of a spoon and just smooth those down. Once you've added in the mixture for all 12 of your donuts, I'm then gonna pop this in a preheated oven, which is at 180 degrees Celsius for around 10 to 12 minutes. Now, this is a normal oven setting, but if you're using a fan oven, you do wanna reduce the temperature. So reduce the temperature to around 160 degrees Celsius. 
Okay, so I've taken them out of the oven and you can use just a cocktail stick just to push in and check that it comes out clean. This way you know that they're cooked all the way through. I'm then gonna turn them out onto my wire rack and leave them to cool. Okay, so now they have cooled down. You can see that we have these really cool donut shapes and they're now ready to decorate. So I'm gonna be creating a colored glaze to go on the top and add in some sprinkles. Now, one thing that you might notice is some of them we have, some of the donut mixture just came over the top. So we don't have as much of a circle in the center as others. If you wanna get rid of this, you could cut this out, or you could also use the end of a piping tip. So I've just got the end of my Wilton 2D here, and it's exactly the same size as the hole. So I'm just gonna push that through to cut out that excess. So to make the glaze, I've got 150 grams of icing sugar, or you might find that it's called powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. I've also got two tablespoons of milk and some vanilla flavoring. So I'm gonna start by adding in a teaspoon of my vanilla or a flavoring of your choice. I'm then gonna start adding my milk, just a small amount at a time, mixing that together. And we're looking for quite a thick glaze. Now I sifted my icing sugar into my bowl to stop any lumps. So I've just got a tiny amount of the milk still left, but I'm happy with the consistency. So it's quite thick and falls off the spoon. Now, before I add any color, I'm actually gonna pop some of this into some other bowls. And to color these, you want to use gel colors. So they're nice and concentrated, but they're not gonna add any liquid. So the Color Splash Violet has given us this really pretty lilac color. I'm then gonna add a small amount of Color Splash Jade. And lastly, a light blue. And you can make your donuts any color depending on the theme that you're going for. Now, for the sprinkles, I'm gonna be using this sprinkle mix that has a mixture of the colors that we've used for the toppings. So this is the Sweet Mermaid mix. And I'm gonna take out some of the larger balls as these will just slide off the donuts. I'm then gonna pick up my first donut and just push that into my icing, just pulling that out and letting any excess drip off. I can then flip it over and there we have our first donut. So I'm gonna place that onto my tray and just add some sprinkles onto the top. And I'm gonna leave that to set. I can then do exactly the same to the others. Now I do actually have a 10% off discount code for Happy Sprinkles. All you have to do is go over to their website or the website of the cake decorating company and enter Happy Lins 10 at the checkout. And I will put all the details in the description below. Once your donuts have been left for that glaze to dry, which is around 20 to 30 minutes, you'll then have these really pretty fun donuts that you can either serve like this, add into treat boxes, or use on your cakes as cake toppers. Now, because these are baked donuts rather than fried donuts, they are more of a cakey texture, but they taste so delicious. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use this recipe if you want to make your own donuts. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, please hit that like button as it really does help the videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. So until next time.